everybody, my name is Just Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft Cold War tank tutorial. Today we are doing the Soviet T-62 main battle tank. Now, uh, let me just correct myself. Oh, I don't want to correct myself, but I just need to put this out there. I hear the I hear many titles for this tank, whether it be main battle tank, medium tank, I don't know which one it is. Uh, but I decided to go with main battle tank because, for the most part, I see it classified as a main battle tank. So take that how you will, but um, it's I'm keeping it classified as a main battle tank, at least for now. So um, anyway, here's just a queer, uh, <clears throat> a quick look at the T62. Uh, turned out decently well, not too, uh, not too different from my um, T54 from a long time ago, which I'd actually like to update that T54. I already have a new design for it uh, sitting around somewhere. Um, maybe I can convert it. It's made for a different texture pack, but I can easily convert it for a you know normal Minecraft texture pack. But um, there's the T62, and now here's just some general. Um, <clears throat> information on it. Its origin was in the Soviet Union. It was produced 61 to 57 in the USSR, 57 to 78 Czechoslovakia, and the 80s in North Korea. There's the number of them built. Couldn't exactly find when they were designed because I'm kind of in a rush right now, so I just kind of scraped up what I could. I'm in a rush right now because today I it's going to be relatively quiet in my house, so I'm just going to try and get as much done as I possibly can. So, yeah, here's all the info that you need on the T62. There is no interior for this build, um, I couldn't fit it, it's actually very hard to fit an interior for these size vehicles. I couldn't fit one for the, mm, I can't remember if I fit one for the T-54 back then. I know that for my new T-54, if I do make one, it will have an interior, um, but I couldn't exactly fit one in here because it was quite difficult. The shape of the turret betrayed me quite a lot on this one. So, um, it, it, there was no real point in me trying because there wouldn't have been enough room and it wouldn't have been a very interactive interior to begin with. But, um, yeah, that's that, and I have plenty of other tanks sitting inside of the warehouse, so I'm going to try and get this quick. Um, so yeah, that's the C62, I hope you all enjoy this tutorial, and without any further hold up, let's get right to it. Alright, so for later one, we're going to want to have dark oak wood logs, stone brick stair, stone brick slab, dark oak wood slab, Iron trap door, stone slab, stone button, and dark oak wood stairs. I've already started by placing down the two front road wheels on either side of the tracks. So you're going to have a sideways uh, dark oak wood log, single one on either side with a space of five in between of them, and make sure they're on their sides. We're going to go behind them and we're going to do our typical wheel design using back to back stairs like that. Then behind the stairs, we're going to do sideways dark oak wood logs on there. And we're going to skip a space, do another one, skip a space, do another one, do that on the other side as well, skip a space, do another, skip a space, do another. We're going to fill up the gaps on the insides of the road wheels with uh, uh, stone brick slabs, put one at the back here, and here, put a top slab of, of uh, stone brick behind the bottom slab, jump to the front of the tr uh, tracks, do a stone brick stair with the backs facing the front of the tank, in front of those do a top slab of stone brick on either side. We're going to take our dark oak wood slabs, we're going to do a row of five across like this, in between the stairs. On the front of those uh, dark oak wood slabs, we're going to do top placed iron trap doors. We're going to take our dark oak wood slabs, we're going to run them all the way down the side. Like this, on either side, all the way back to about here. Do that on the other side as well. Run them all the way back to about here, close it off back here. Fill up the whole inside with st uh, stone slabs. There we go, beautiful. Then we're gonna take iron trap doors. I think we're gonna put two iron trap doors right there. Yes, okay. We're gonna take our stone buttons. We're gonna put a stone button on the outsides of each of the road wheels. There we go. And with that, we are done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, take a quick look, look over what you have to have done. And with layer one done, let's move on to layer two. All right, so moving on to layer two, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clear out what we already have here. We're gonna grab some nether brick stairs, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, um, some green shulker boxes, some green terracotta. We're gonna grab some dark, some stone brick stairs, I mean slabs, and stairs. We're going to grab some nether brick slabs, and we're going to grab some signs, I guess, and we'll just grab that all for now. Jump to the front of the tank, put another brick stair here, another brick stair here, dark oak wood stair here, curved, one there curved, 
put three bottom slabs of dark oak wood in the center of that. Which way do I have to have the shulker box placed? Okay. We're going to do three green terracotta right here. Place a shulker box off the sides like this. Make sure you place them just like that. Then we're going to take our stone brick slabs and we're going to do two top slabs here, two top slabs here. And then we're going to run bottom slabs all back all the way to about, to about right here, right before the last road wheel. Do that on the opposite side as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll do our green terracotta now, just get this done. We're going to take our green terracotta and we're basically just going to fill up the whole thing all the way to the back. Just like this. Then we're going to take our stone brick stairs, we're going to do a stair like this. An upside down stair here and here. Then we're going to do a stair here and one here. Going to take our. Oh, either right, we have to take the green terracotta back about one more, I think. Yeah, okay. Then we're gonna take our nether brick stairs, do an upside down stair here and an upside down stair here. Make sure the backs are facing the back of the tank. Take our nether brick slabs, do a bottom slab here and here. Take our blank signs, put a blank sign here and a blank sign here. Going to put down some placeholders back here. <clears throat> Come over here, grab some dark oak wood fence gates, put two fence gates here and two here, open them inward to the chassis, delete the placeholders, and there you go, you already have the uh, the, um, the carrying arm things for the fuel tanks, the external fuel tanks. You probably hear my birds in the background anyway, if you keep hearing like an odd chirping noise, it's probably the birds. Can't necessarily shut them up either, so we're going to take, um, actually I think we're done with this layer. Okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, alright, we're done with layer 2. So now we're done with layer 2, let's move on to layer 3. Moving on to layer 3, let's go over here and grab some iron trapdoors, green carpet, flower pots, dark oak wood slabs, spruce wood slabs, stone slabs, and daylight sensors, great cyan terracotta, and uh, wooden trapdoor. We'll start from the back this time. We'll do the uh, fuel tanks first. So on top of these fence gates, we're going to put <clears throat> cyan terracotta on either of them, two on either. Then on the outside, we're going to put a, a wooden trap door. We're just going to close it, and that'll make the external fuel tanks. We're going to take our daylight sensors. We're going to do ten of them here. And we're going to convert all of these, I think, except for those three. Okay, so just don't convert these to convert the rest to blue. We're going to put a dark oak wood slab here, here, spruce here and here, and then a stone slab in the center. We're going to put a dark oak wood slab here and here. Jump up to the front, put a slab here and here. One here, one here, here. Stone slab here and here is that? No, I'm doing this wrong. Not here. Dark oak wood slab here. Um, we're then going to take our green carpet, put two green carpet here, put a flower pot here, iron trap doors here, here. Skip, skip a space of two and then do one, two, three, four, five. Put some spruce slabs here. Put some stone slabs here. We're going to put two spruce here, one spruce here, iron trap doors all the way up, I think. Alright, except for these two spaces, make these stone slabs. Put a green terracotta here, then I'd say a 3x3 three three cube here, actually back to about here actually. Two off to the side here, <clears throat> two here. Grab our dark oak wood stairs, put a stair here and a stair here, 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 he, uh, here. These actually should be curved like this, put one in the center there. And with that we are done with layer 3, so now we're done with layer 3, let's move on to layer 4. Moving on to our final layers, let's just take our stone slabs while I can find them, here we go. Right there, put a stone slab on top of that. 
going to grab our daylight sensors. We're going to go forward five, one, two. We're going to place, need placeholders three, four, five, three, four, five. Break those. Do some dark oak wood slabs, do two of them, and then do iron trap doors underneath of them. Do some placeholders. <clears throat> We're going to grab some daylight sensors, put two here, break those. And there you have the barrel finished. Take our daylight sensors, put two here, two here. We're going to put a green terracotta here. No, right here. Um, then one here. Grab our dark oak wood. Or no, our spruce logs. Put a spruce log here and here. Grab our oak wood stairs. And put a stair here. And put some slabs here. Let me just see what I have to do here. Got our spruce wood plank, we're gonna replace this with planks. I'm going to put a dark oak wood slab here, and a slab here, I'm assuming. And the stairs go there. Stair here, here, and here. I'm going to put a stone pressure plate on top of the log here. I'm going to grab some wither skeleton skulls. I'm going to put a skull here, and a skull on the front of this daylight sensor. I'm going to grab some mossy cobblestone, put one here. I'm going to grab our dark oak wood fence gates, put a fence gate here, open it towards the wall. Put a wall put a gate here, close it, make sure it's closed. We're going to put a placeholder here, go to go into our inventory, grab an end rod. <clears throat> place the end rod off of that placeholder there, so you have like the big bit at the end of the gun. Um, we're going to take a stone button, we're going to put a stone button right here. And with that we are actually done the T-62. Like I said there's no interior, so it's just what you get here. If you want to make your own interior then feel free to go ahead and make your own interior. But with that we are done the T-62. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I kind of got this done in a rush to make other things, get other things done, but um, I'm happy that I, at least able to get, I was at least able to get this video up. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this tank. If you have any that tanks that you wish to see, I have a link to my Discord in the description um, if you want, and my Twitter if you want to go there to either of those and let me know of any builds you want to see. You can also just uh, leave a, uh, a comment, uh, make it set. You can just leave a comment in the comment section of any tanks you wish to see. Um, if you leave any requests, though, it will be a little bit before I get those up because I already have tanks I have to get up. I'm quite behind on requests, so I've been quite backed up. I never exactly have the time to get these videos up. So um, I hope you all enjoy this. I hope you all enjoy this tank, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.